All right, I know I've done a lot of Pokemon, but I feel like doing something stupid. So instead of playing Pokemon, let's check out a very infamous Pokemon knockoff. Welcome to the world of Robopon. This is the Sun version, which is the only version that came out outside Japan. There's also a Star and Moon version of the game. Wait, Sun and Moon? Beat you right to the punch. Let's see here. Build them, collect them, trash them. Hmm, I wonder what kind of audience this game is geared towards. But this could just be a company that was relatively unknown at the time, right? Right? This game not only took a lot of ideas from Pokemon, as is apparent, but also Robotruck? I don't think anybody even knows what a Robotruck is. So what am I gonna get into? An absolute horrid mess? Let's find out. The second we wake up, I start to notice something immediately. This character is completely original. There is no influence that this character had. Why are you blue? So our parents do what most Pokemon parents do and abandon us. So we go visit our grandpa and watch his creations kill each other. Uh, name, 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 name. Uh, Fork. So after that, our grandpa decides to give us his entire company. <laughs> I just started the game and I already have so much power! Keep in mind, this is all before I even get my starter. The starter Robopon we get is called Sunny, and I 100% plan to do evil things with this uninspired mascot. So I have this company, but I only receive a small loan of a thousand gold. Let's see how much that is worth nowadays, and this is less than I expected. Communicate with KISS? What does this do? I'm not telling you, because I at least want you to have some sort of expectation for this game that I have absolutely no expectations for. We get to our first fight, and, uh, are you doing what I think you're doing? Hey, look at this cool robot with glasses. Time to punch it to death. As you can see here, we got a few options for fighting, but let's be real here. Just attack. Or switch. Or use an item if you like that. Because I'll be the first to tell you, defending and trying to evade are completely pointless. You're better off being offensive rather than wasting your turn taking a little bit of damage, or failing to evade and taking all the damage anyways. Battling in this game is quite simple. You got your standard weak attack and skills you can equip onto your Robopon. The amount of RAM your armor has determines how strong the skills you can put on. You can put on three skills at a time, and if you combine the right ones, you get unique skills. Although it's not fun, in the late game, when you get this piece of shit armor that has good stats, but only allows you to equip one tin attack. And if you're a boot type, you could not only not remove or add more skills, but you also cannot change what armor they have. It's so stupid. There's a few more fights here and there, and some town exploration. I definitely did not get lost in the castle area for half an hour, but we finally got our first objective, to defeat Bisco. Bisco. Biscuit. Disco. Panic at the Bisco. <laughs> the one thing I like about this game is most of the trainers you see are optional. Ha! It took you nine generations, Pokemon. I expected better from you. And after all this time, now I can finally catch more Robopon. Why are you ignorant? Now you're over the counter? Oops, it blew up on me. And that was all one wild encounter, mind you. See, the reason why they're like that is because their processor is really weak, like my old laptop I used to use. And in order to fix it, we have to upgrade it at the laboratory. Which building is a lab, you say? Well, duh, it's a microscope. The bag here is the item shop. The wrench is the place to fix your scrap Robopon. And the shield with a cross on it is the armor and skill shop. Very typical RPG stuff, I would say. Some Robopon need to be upgraded to be able to be used without malfunctioning on you or to use beefier equipment. Most of the time, it's not necessary. For example, aw, this cute little Sumito. I will attract you. Hey look, it's the most generic monkey you'll ever see doing the S-shape y'all did in school. Also, don't forget to talk to Professor Disk, he gives you a free Robopon. Hello, hello, hello! It's Arya here, I I'm sorry. So the objective is to go into the school and beat up every single teacher in there, then go pay the principal a visit in the dungeon. After doing that, we have to deal with Bisco's henchmen, and that is literally a goddamn screw. 
So now it's time to fight Bisco, who we find out is one of the legends. Look at this smug asshole. Alright, I beat him now. Do I get to be a legend? Not until I beat him in the castle? Screw your technicalities! Ah, oh, hey, what a cute getty bear. What does this do? Uh... Oh yeah, you may have noticed. What happened to Sumito? Why is it a sumo now? After you defeat enemies, you get energy points. You can give them to a specific Robopon, and when you get enough of them, you can evolve. Most Robopon has three stages of evolution, some four, it's never consistent. Whatever. Alright, round two, time to kick your ass, I'll get- I lost. Okay, now we're a legend. We get to the radio tower, and I think I found the waifu of this game. Also, what did they do to Slowpoke? It's now an ignorant baby, just like all babies. I've been in this tower for just a little bit, and there's nothing to do, so let's head to the beach instead. And no, I'm not mad because I keep getting my ass kicked by the starter I used to have. It happens. Alright, so I need a lamp before I can enter the cave, so I have to go back and talk to the shady lamp guy, and he wants something that I can only find in the beach, so I'm going back to the beach and to pick up the item in the sand where Robopon can be encountered, and after finding this oh so conveniently hidden item, I go back and get the lamp. Backtracking to areas you used to be, more like backtracking to the area you were right before, and then again. So. Gitcha has enough points to evolve, and, uh, uh... Now that we got the lamp, time to go into a cave. And here's a good grinding spot to level up some Robopon, since the water is a party heal. Also, this Robopon is just a pile of shall we see what body goals evolves into? Yeah, I was stubborn enough to get another Betty. You got a problem with that? Oh, there's a TV in the middle of this cave. I wonder what's on. Well, that just happened. Okay, I'll get out. Is this a Persona 4? So after some magic television fuckery, I fight some trainers who make me punch a machine and jump really far. And this one where I genuinely believe it's up to luck. I don't know what to do, I have to pray to the nearest god in order to win. However, you can try over and over again, which makes me wonder what the point of these types of battles are. Anyways, hi Armon, time for you to die. Boomer! Dr. Robotnik called, he wants his robot back. We are now the Legend 6. Yo, is that a fucking unicycle? And uh, here's another bot given to me. I'll protect this one with my life. You will not get this bot, no matter what you- Now we have to go to a beat-up deserted town called... Coolstown, and free it from the totally not Team Rocket wannabes. Afterwards, there's a mechanic who will upgrade our Unibot to an actual vehicle. We can use our newfound bike to navigate Mount Greece. Just not all the way. Huh? Hi there, would you like to sign my petition? Get away from me! Sign this petition or I'll follow you home and- Sandaconda! Golem! Sandbag! Wait, that's not a Pokemon. But Pokemon's in Smash- This one guy is so much stronger than I am at this point, and I had to grind to beat him, only to find out that this mountain is so fucked I can't go up slopes. I also can't go down slopes either. Well, it says I can't go up the slope that I'm trying to go down, so... Well, you do you! I cut a bunch of eggs to sell to the black market, I mean laboratory. Wanna know how to progress? Talk to this guy right here, and he says, Go find someone else to fix your bike up. Yeah, yeah, I believe you're hinted at this in the story, but... Another reason to use a guide. We gotta go back to Coolstown and talk to this guy who's obsessed with fish. And finally, I can go up and up down ramps. Oh, come on! I just went through hell find that last guy, and you pull out the tank? So now we get into this house, and this guy is evil. We better stop him, Fork. Fork? Why are you just standing there? He's the bad guy. You can't just let him get away with no consequences. Okay, you can go after him now. He's fumbling a bit. Hey, Fork, wake up. Hello? Hello? Ah, he got away because your two tiny brain cells couldn't comprehend the simplest thing ever. Oh hey, that's the DOS bot! 
a fork? Can can we be civil about this? We don't have to kill anybody to get- Oh, never mind. We do get Dospot back, and we have the ability to go underwater now. But why? You'd think this game would have a massive level jump at this point, but it doesn't. The designers were laughing their asses off with this decision. But hey, if you go to this funny little town where I don't know where the shops are and collect a whole bunch of seashells, you can get access to the underwater health center. There is not much here. You can watch a dance. It heals you. And you can grind here, so every time you need to heal up, watch this stupid pathetic dance. Or amazing, depending on how you view it. I sure do love additional content! And that is the entire use of going underwater. But now it's time for what is the most boring part of this game. God, please save me. So you have these five towers you need to climb. First, you need to be recruited in order to even climb the towers. And each one of the towers is a different type of battle in the game. Holy shit, is that Queen from Delta Root? A couple of these types of battles are skill-based, but for the rest of them, my brain decides it wants to do nothing but tap A over and over until I get lucky enough. Okay, which one of you designed this? It's named Johnny too. Oh my god. There is a boss at the end of these towers, and uh, it's five times harder. Have your fast forward button on standby and mash A. <laughs> Wait, did I say you had to climb five towers? Oh, silly me. You have to climb this one, too. After all that, we can finally get another legend title. And I beat her first try. I can't believe climbing your towers was harder than your fight. Wow, Dr. Dis kidnapped his daughter because he didn't want to fight me. Hmm, I wonder where he could be hiding. It's not like this suspiciously tall building that's right here all of a sudden. It's the place he's hiding. Well, I'll go look somewhere else. So with the newfound power of being the Legend 4, we can finally fly off this dock. Welcome to Overleveled Hell 2.0. There are some quite strong Robopon that can be useful in-game, and a fight with my mortal enemy, Bisco. None of this is required at all, and I made you waste your time grinding for hours. Fuck this, I'm going fishing. Women want me. Fish fear me. I want women. Fear is in the fish. Oh, I got a bite. I'm the bait? Now after I get a lore dump that I genuinely don't care about, I've got this guy blowing up a city and now it's underwater and everybody's still living because they can breathe underwater or some stupid shit, the snorkels. But first I want to raid all these people's houses and take their bombs and go back to that suspiciously large apartment building and start blowing it up. I don't have enough firepower right now. There's a kid before we left who says he's gonna give us something, but it's gonna take a while to give us. So once we come back, he's here and now he blew up the city- oh no. Oh wait, blown up the city just raised it back up above water- what? We can now go get some bombs by going down these stairs and get arrested for being a terrorist. What I meant to say was, Dr. Disc, I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, wait, you're alive. We blew up this building enough, so the top floor is now the bottom floor. And if we enter the building, it's just another place to heal our Robopon. Talking about this game makes my head hurt. There's very important story bits right after I fight Dr. Disc, so let's do an optional side quest first. Let's go into this forest. Looking for signs, looking for signs, looking for signs. Oh, it's over here. Oh, hey, Donald. I know you're all thinking about either Donald Duck or Donald Trump. I can read your mind. What the fuck kind of experiments are you doing? What is this? So now we have to wait for a specific time. So I'll just go back to the main menu and change the clock that way so I can enter this cave. And do you like counting? Use these blocks to figure out numbers! And every time you figure out a number that is different from the last number you use, you gotta fight this guy. Over and over and over again. Because Donald over here is selfish and wants some wishes. It gets to the point where he's tall! What did we gain from all of this? Nothing! Let's just go back to the actual story now. We have to fight Dr. Disc, and to tell you how easy Dr. Disc was, this Robopon he has perfectly sums up my thoughts. 
This game pulls a regular show and decides, hey, you know about this character who's number one, that is your main motivation to become the best? Yeah, here's a new number one out of nowhere. Zero. Not that zero. Not that one, Eero. That's zero, too. So we get transported to his castle forever until Bisco shows up and saves the day. You can tell they definitely ran out of ideas for Robopon at this point. Like, boiler? Really? Oh, wow. You managed to one down yourself. But back at the castle, Zero has defeated the sole person we were aiming to beat, and decides, you know what, this is my castle now. Prince Tail ends up downgrading to the Legend 2, and nobody will ever know what happened to the original Legend 2. But because of shenanigans, we have to fight Prince Tail to become the Legend 2, and this is also the point in the game where the difficulty skill has had enough. Say hello to Draco. I tried over and over to beat it, but it's just too much. And it's not even his ace! But, I have a solution. Back at the first town, we can go to the basement and pay this guy to build more and more of the building. The prices definitely get way too expensive on your own later on, but that's where Cell and Robopunk comes into play. This feels highly immoral, but it does give you the ability to change your nickname and not much else, honestly. Woohoo! I can deploy my Robopon! And tell them to fuck off until next week. After building all these floors of useless stuff, we get T-Bot. Let's just say... It's really broken. Standard attacks hit multiple times, and its skills deal a bunch of damage. Since we're also in the late game, we got good places to grind too, like Zero Castle or Cherry Hill where most Robopon struggle to deal with Draco at level 50, T-Bot can manage at level 45. And then his ace just kills T-Bot. Oh. Go, Batty! Burn this bitch to the ground! Give me your fucking Legend 2 title right now. So because of my victory, the prince gets kidnapped and the princess gets sent to the mirror dimension. What a bad day to be the prince. It's Jover for him. Oh yeah, I haven't properly explored Cherry Hills, so let's see what we got in there. So we have to chase after this guy for quite a bit until we come across some treasure he wants. So we have to fight for it. Aww, he's got the basic starter of uh, Okay, Dr. Zero takes priority first. You have the same attack! I hate everything. However, T-Bot didn't care that much, and man should take it out quite reasonably well. The doctor explodes because that's obviously what every villain does. The castle is also going to explode, but Bisco manages to find another secret passageway, and we're saved. Was it... was it all a dream? Ah, oh, no it wasn't. Wait a minute. We still have not freed the princess yet, so I think I know who I have to beat exactly. Let's fill our team with the strongest Robopon we can find, and take down that sunny bastard. Oh, all I needed to do was use Sky Missile, and it was easy to beat. Well, that was anticlimactic. Anyways, I say the princess. I'm done with this game. Bye. Ah, uh, come on. You don't want to talk about Robopon anymore? I, I don't. This game is a disaster. There's not really much good with it. Don't you want to talk about the funny Robopon designs? Or the fact that this game got a sequel? No, I- This game got a sequel? No, I'm not- I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You know what? You take cover for me. I'm out of here.